Hi everyone, my name is Ivan. I'm back. I'm sorry for taking such a long pause. I hope I will do vid more videos uh, from now on. And today I would like to present to you some simple things. So it could be kind of a test for you. Or if you don't know some basic vocabulary, you could learn something new. Um, so, simple things, I mean um, in the context of daily words, words which we use every day. Uh, among them there are also greetings and numbers. And uh, now we are going to some basic vocabulary to name the objects around us. So, today uh, we will speak about such items, about the human body, a little bit about people. Uh, family members, uh, animals, what we can find at home, a few words about clothes, food and beverages in the city, about some natural phenomena. Uh, I would also come across a few countries and uh, nationalities and we'll finish with professions and transport and then I will make a kind of motivational conclusion. Um, so, uh, the principle is pretty easy. You see a picture and we try to uh, remember with you the names of these objects. And then I show, you, I show you the names and we read them once again. If it is too easy or too difficult for you, don't forget that you may always proceed to shadowing just try to listen and repeat everything you hear. So, let's try. Uh, here, on the first picture, we have a desk. And what is there on the desk? There is a laptop, right? There are some images or photos uh, on its screen. There are flowers in a jar. Uh, then there is a cell phone on a book, also there is a lamp, there are glasses, the glasses are on some notebooks, right? Okay, so once again, an image, a photo, a laptop, flowers, a cell phone, a mobile, or a mobile phone, a telephone, a book, a lamp, glasses, notebooks. Okay, pretty. Was it easy or not? Uh, decide yourself. Don't forget that you may press pauses and so on. But let's try to go further. I hope it is uh, fine for you. How do we call this object? This is a pen. Okay, very well. And some of my students sometimes forgot uh, the name of these. They are pencils. So here there are two pencils. A red one and a blue one. Okay, how do we call all these? They may have many different names, like a backpack, a rucksack on the left, a, a purse on the right. But all in all, we may call them just bags, a bag. Okay, what are they? They are a bottle and a glass of water. A bottle and a glass of water. Okay. This one, definitely a daily word because we all use it every day, yeah. So this is a charger. If we use it for our cell phones, yeah. But if you use this thing for a TV, for example, or for something that doesn't work without it, yeah. So it is a plug, a charger or a plug. Also, you can say that this is a plug, yeah. But for a cell phone, it is a charger. 
For example, where is my charger? I need my charger now. Okay, I hope this one is fine for you. This is just a telephone, right? A yellow telephone. Okay, what is it? It is a clock. A clock. Just like when we say uh, time, right? 10 o'clock and so on. But this one will also uh, find the time, but they're called differently. This is a watch. A watch. Okay. What can you see here? We eat at the table, a table, and we sit on a chair, a chair. Okay, what is the man reading? The man is reading a newspaper. And from newspapers we get uh, the latest news, yeah? A newspaper news. Fine, how do you call this one? For making photos or maybe even to make videos this one is just for photos okay this is a camera a camera okay what can you see here here are some money pounds right and where do you keep money how do you call a bag for your money we call it a bag. Oh, sorry, a wallet, a wallet. Money and a wallet. Okay, what is it? A topical thing today. This is a mask, a mask. A mask can be for some party, like a mask of a dog, a mask of a president. And this is a medical mask. And this one, this is an umbrella. An umbrella. Okay. So, this is, that was the part about objects. Let's go further. Speaking about human body. Uh, what parts of the body may we see here? First of all, we see a head, right? We can see here one ear, an ear on the left side below the hair, a neck which connects our head and our body. Then on, on the sides from the neck there are shoulders, from the shoulders uh, grow arms, then we have hands, fingers on our hands, then below we have legs, uh, feet, between our legs and our feet there are ankles, and on our feet there are toes. So let's check once again. A head, a knee, a neck, a shoulder, an arm, a hand, a finger, a leg, a foot, and the plural of the foot is feet, a toe, and an ankle. An ankle and then a toe. Okay. And another picture. It is not actually a human. It is a mermaid. Half woman, half fish, or half person, half fish. Okay. What can you see here? She has... Uh, beautiful hair like I like this color I don't know also on her face we see eyes a nose 
we can see a palm of her hand this inner side of her hand we can see her belly and in the center of the belly there is a navel and the part which people usually don't have it is a tail so a mermaid has a fish tail right so once again hair eyes a palm you don't read letter L there a nose a navel a belly and a tail okay well done with the body let's go further after the body we have people speaking about people how can we refer to different people so if we're speaking about people as opposite to animals or to robots anything else we say a human or a human being or just a person singular is a person and many uh, they are people okay but if we want to refer to the gender yeah how do we call this person who is it this is a woman and the plural of the word woman is women a woman women okay who is it it is a man a man and the plural of a man is men a man men okay let's go further if the woman is young or very little we may call her a girl a girl and if a man is young or little we call him a boy a boy okay also let's not forget about people from the age of the age from 13 till 19 so the key words here are age and 13 19 people from the age of 19 till 13 are called teenagers a teenager because they have the suffix teen in their age right okay and just when we speak about boys and girls like here there are only boys but anyway about little people yeah they're called children a child children many children okay let's go to family now uh, let's uh, discuss this family tree here you have uh, me in the bottom uh, left side right a girl above me must be who to me a girl above me becomes my sister my sister my elder sister right and uh, two grown-ups above us they are our parents our parents our mom and our dad my mother mommy my father daddy okay the woman uh, to the right of my father is my father's sister she is my aunt my aunt and there there is her husband my uncle-in-law or just uncle or my aunt's husband okay and their children become our uh, cousin a boy is our cousin or my cousin and the girl is our cousin oh okay and the people above are our grandparents my grandmother grandma granny and my grandfather or grandpa 
Okay, so once again, I, my eldest sister, my mother, mom, money, mommy, my father, dad or daddy, all together they are my parents. Then on the right side I have my aunt or my uncle, my uncle-in-law, our cousin, our cousine and my grandparents, my grandmother, grandma or granny and my grandfather or my grandpa. Nice. So, what happens if I become the man in the middle on the uh, left side? Yeah, then the woman to the left from me is my wife and the children, my children, yeah, they are my elder daughter and my younger son. The woman to the right from me is my aunt, oh, sorry, my sister. And her husband is my brother-in-law. Then our children, uh, their children are my nephew. A boy becomes my nephew and uh, the girl becomes my niece. And people above are my parents, my mom and my dad. So, once again, my son and my daughter, together they are my children, my wife, my sister, my sister's husband or my brother-in-law, my nephew, my niece, my mother, my father or my parents and me. Also, if uh, my children also have children, they become my grandchildren. Okay. Now, about animals. How do we call the king of animals? Who is it? It is a lion. A lion. Okay. And how do we call a female line, a girl line? She is a lioness, a lioness. And the same story is with this uh, animal. For men, it is a tiger, a tiger. And if it is a girl, it is a tigress, a tiger and a tigress. Okay, what is this animal which gives us milk and some other stuff like cheese, dairy products? This is a cow. Okay, a cow. And uh, but cow is a girl, yeah. And how do you call a boy? Not a cowboy. <laughs> Cowboy is a person, but a uh, 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 male cow is a bull, a bull. Okay, what is it? Be what is this beautiful animal? This is a horse, white horse, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay, uh, this is a snake. Okay, a snake. Nice. What is this cute animal? This is a dog, but if we're speaking about little ones, it is a puppy. A dog or a puppy. Okay. And this one is a cat. I think it is fine for you. But how do we call little cats? We call them kittens so a cat or a kitten okay let's go further how do we call this gorgeous animal not the birds the big one yeah this is an elephant an elephant okay 
and this one they're very popular now many people have them and they are hamsters a hamster okay and this one a snake with legs uh, it is a lizard a lizard okay and these ones we have them many in in every city in every village in every place yeah they are birds just birds <laughs> okay and this one uh, as you see uh, this device for using your computer is called has the same name so this is a mouse like mickey mouse right but if we're speaking about plural about many they become mice so a mouse and mice okay so <laughs> done with animals my congratulations let's go further now we're going to speak about home what we have at home or anything connected to your home so the girl where is she looking and where is she sitting so she is looking at or through the window or a window through this window through one window okay it, it is out of context here so not so important but she's sitting on a window sill so this is a window and a window sill okay uh, home is a general word for the place where you feel good, yeah? Your home is inside you, first of all. But if we are speaking about this building, it is a house already. A house. A beautiful house. But if you live in a city, most probably you live in these things they are called flats and sometimes they have exit outside on like you see here we have three balconies right so a flat and a balcony okay how do we call this room we have here some pictures right we have here some pillows and most important we have here a bed that's why this room is called a bedroom a bedroom a picture a pillow and a bed okay also we had the uh, this word yeah this object this is a tv set or the television or a telly the television is more like this concept this uh, system yeah but anyway you can say do you have the television at home a tv set the television a telly okay what is this room the room where we cook is called a kitchen uh, this white stuff above we may call them shelves where we store different stuff and the thing which gives us fire to cook is called a cooker and here it is probably a gas cooker so a kitchen shelves a cooker or a gas cooker okay then this room has many names it may be a guest room or a sitting room or a living room because we may sit there we may live there we may uh, invite guests there here on the wall we have a painting it is painted some abstract painting we have here above above any room not just sitting room but anyway where you see lamps there right uh, it is a ceiling and below it is called a floor 
on the floor we have a carpet then uh, this uh, wide furniture to sit on it is a sofa or a couch on the sofa we have cushions uh, cushions is like pillows but pillows we use for sleeping and cushions just for sofas maybe to sit and so on they're not very comfortable to sleep in front of the sofa there is a coffee table and there is also a plant in the room right have I forgotten anything no no okay once again a guest room a living room a sitting room a painting a cushion a sofa a couch a coffee table a carpet a floor and a plant okay and the ra the last room for us today is uh, this one i hope you remember this is called a bathroom because here we can take a bath in a bathtub it is on the left side in uh in the bottom of the image but also near the bathtub we have a shower cabin to take a shower also there is a mirror on the right side there is a sink to wash our hands there is a toilet or a water closet that's why we uh, have um, the sign WC when we want to go to the toilet and there are towels okay so a bathroom a mirror a towel a sink a toilet a water closet and a bathtub okay <laughs> i hope you're doing well this is not too much for you if it is too much just press a pause take a rest yeah but try to make it fun don't make it too hard for you okay let's go further now we're speaking about clothes and the first question to you is why does this man look strange what is strange about him maybe something about his clothes right so what is he wearing he is wearing a pyjama and this is strange <laughs> okay then what is this guy wearing he is wearing a jacket a jacket okay uh, what are they another topical item today they are gloves blue gloves maybe rubber i don't know medical maybe gloves just gloves okay what are they to put them uh, on our ears so they're called earrings earrings because originally they were like uh, like rings yeah these ones which we put on our fingers or maybe toes i don't know just the circle ones yeah they're called rings a ring okay what uh, does this man have on his head he has a black hat a hat okay and what are they to take to the beach or when it is too sunny too bright outside we put on our sunglasses sun plus glasses equals sunglasses <laughs> okay and what uh, is this uh, outfit outlook this is a suit and a tie or a necktie uh, very official clothes right okay how do we call this one to put on our hands or on our wrists this is 
a bracelet a bracelet okay and what is this these are shorts red shorts okay what are they if you had no problems with sunglasses you shouldn't have any problems here they are glasses if you have some problems with your eyes probably i will need some glasses soon because i work too much with my laptop okay what are they they are t-shirts a t-shirt because they have form of letter t and what are they surprisingly all different but anyway they are socks socks maybe it is special style to wear different ones i want to try also it is very comfortable not to look but they shall match anyway like these green and blue ones here yeah? they go together i think okay uh what does this man wear on the top he has a shirt a shirt is um is more official clothes yeah not like t-shirt a shirt uh and uh, below the shirt there is a belt a belt and on his legs he has trousers or in american english you may also say pants so a shirt a belt and trousers okay what how do you call these ones they may also have different names depending on their kind and sometimes depending on the country but all in all general word for all this is shoes so they are shoes different kinds of shoes okay uh what is this yellow thing if it goes separately from the top it is called a skirt a skirt but if it goes together it becomes what it becomes a dress so this is already a dress not a dress yeah a dress dress a red dress okay and this one also a pretty popular item today i want to buy one myself too this is we may say may we say a hat i think i think no this is a cap a cap yeah okay fine with clothes i hope your brain is okay <laughs> and you're ready to continue with some food and drinks another big topic but we will just pass it quickly okay so how do we call all these um, natural sweets they are not sweet sometimes yeah they're sour maybe um so they have many names like uh, strawberry raspberry blueberry redberry blackberry and so on but all together general word is just berries do you like berries yes i do okay uh, what is it i know it looks like a c but uh if we're speaking about food and drinks probably it would be water right water water may okay <laughs> let's go further what are they um they are two glasses of juice and the problem with such words as water or juice is that usually we don't say juices or waters yeah but for example here you may say that you see two juices two strawberry juices 
because you mean not just like uh, this uh, ma- uh, liquid yeah not this substance but you mean two glasses of juices two portions in this case you may use like this but usually it's just juice okay the same story is here if it is just a thing to eat uh, not a portion yeah but just this substance it is ice cream but for example i may say that on the picture i can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ice creams my lucky number nine okay let's go further i think this is easy yeah this is an apple a thing which everybody learns almost first for some reason in all the books an apple maybe because it starts with a right okay and what is it this is beer beer and if you mean one glass you may say a beer or a glass of beer okay what are they they are a coconut or just a cocoa bananas a bunch of bananas oh actually there are two coconuts but okay and a pineapple a pineapple all together they are fruit because usually you uh, fruit in plural is also fruit but in this case you may also say fruits because fruits we use when we mean many different kinds of fruits of fruit yeah so if they're different if you mean kinds of fruits you say fruits but usually it is just fruit i i see many fruit on the table there are many fruit on the table so fruit a pineapple a cocoa or a coconut and a banana okay so what is this can you guess if you drink this beverage uh, maybe you know if not then <laughs> don't start now uh, this is wine just wine make sure that you pronounce the sound w yeah wine okay what are they they are vegetables vegetables one vegetable many vegetables and here make sure that you pronounce sound v and not w yeah vegetables vegetables okay what is it it is milk yeah okay what is it i hope you might guess this is sugar and this one it is uh, a little bit uh, bigger right its granules are bigger so and we get it from uh, c to make uh, food salty yeah so it is salt salt okay and all usually um, on the kitchen table we have salt and pepper pepper okay to make uh, your food spicy nice and we may use that to spice our meat meat okay i'm not sure if it looks tasty but it looks juicy doesn't it okay then what are they they are tomatoes a tomato next there are potatoes a potato then we have tea do you drink your tea with sugar and do you drink it with milk 
or without sugar and without milk. I drink it with milk but without sugar. This is an orange and the orange is of, of the orange color, yeah? So the color is also orange, okay? And this one, it is coffee. Coffee. Once again, if you win one cup of coffee, you may say a coffee. I drank two coffees and so on. But just as a drink, kind of something you may drink, it is just coffee. Okay, this one, probably it should have gone to animals, but anyway, this is fish. Fish. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's go further. And the last, it is not actually a food, it is not a drink, but it is something we chew and which we make bubbles from, which we blow bubbles with. So this is bubble gum. Or also it may be called chewing gum. Okay. This is all about food and drinks. Pretty long way already. Um uh, <laughs> collect your power and let's go further to finish it today because I don't want to break it into separate several videos although it might be a good idea yeah to make a separate video on food and drinks but in this case I will need to get more details and I just want to give you a general idea and to provide you with some kind of training so a deep breath and let's go now we're speaking about a city or a town what we may see here so here I see some buildings right I see and I see a street and also it is a road because we see some transport there so buildings a street or a road okay in the city many people work so these people now are at work and where do they work they work at an office yeah so this is an office and when i speak about your office you say at the office but at work without article at work okay this is a theater a theater and usually we say at the theater. I'm at the theater or I go to the theater. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where is this man? This man is at the museum. A museum. He's looking at impressive picture, I might say. It must look great in real life. Okay, another word which uh, is associated with the city for me, uh, can you guess what it is? This is electricity, <laughs> because we can't imagine a modern city without electricity, right? Maybe some towns, um, in some, but this is a, an exception, yeah? Okay. Uh, what's this? This is a school and School is like work Yeah, we say I am at school in the same way as you say I am at work to go to school to go to work Okay Next How do you call this one? This is a parking or you may also add such words as lot or garage so it becomes a parking lot or a parking garage okay then how do you call these high buildings which scrape the sky to scrape is like when a mosquito bites you uh, this place becomes itchy and you start scraping it and these buildings, they also scrape the sky and they are called 
skyscrapers. A skyscraper. Okay. Or where can you buy vegetables, fruits, or different stuff? At the market. So, a market. Okay. And uh, this one. This is the uh, alternative to a market. This is a supermarket. A supermarket. Okay. So, which one is this? Connecting two banks of the river. This is a bridge. A bridge. Okay. Where are these people? They are at the cinema or in a cinema hall. Okay. What is it? This is a restaurant. And we say at the restaurant. Okay. And if you don't want to eat much, if you want just to drink coffee, where do you go? You might go to a cafe. A cafe. And you may say at the cafe. Let's meet at the cafe. Okay. Uh, this uh, place where you can breathe fresh air, but it is in the city or in town. It is called a park. And you may say I'm in the park or I'm at the park. It depends every time. At is not only inside. You may be at the gates of the park. And in is like deep down. But it, it is not a big difference actually. Okay. Uh, here I wanted to show you which word do you think. Like let's uh, read the signs. No music, no life. And you are what you listen to. I like these phrases, so I wanted just to introduce you the word music because we have we have music maybe everywhere, but this is uh, it is kind of a cultural phenomena, right? So where can you listen to music except your MP3 player? It may be a concert at the concert or a club at the club or in the club, yeah. So music, a concert, at the concert, or a club, at the club, or in the club. Okay, and the last one about the city. So we had school, and after school some people go to a university. And these students are at the university now, at the university. Okay, <laughs> how are you feeling? I hope it is not too difficult for you. If it is, don't forget to take breaks. But I would like to continue because I really want to finish it myself already. And the next topic is not actually an easy one. This is... Oh no, it is easy, sorry. It's about nature. Let's go it quickly. Uh, so, what do you see here? This uh, water place yeah it is called a lake a lake okay what can you see here this is probably a sea a sea or an ocean an ocean it depends right okay then we have what do you see here at night you see a moon probably right i hope you see that uh, some stars and mountains so we say the moon we say it with definite article there because it is the only one in the world but a star and a mountain and if there are many of them we say stars and mountains okay what do you see here Two objects are the only one 
on our planet at least. So it is the sun and this sky. But also we have some clouds here. So the sun, the sky, but a cloud. If it is one cloud and many clouds, some clouds. Okay. What is it? This is fire. Fire. Mm -hmm. And this one, I've already told you this word when I was speaking about the bridge. So this is a river. A river. Okay. What is it? The when we were speaking about the weather, right? This is snow. And when we say, like we may say, it snows in winter, it doesn't snow in winter, and so on. What can you see here? Like, yeah, you can see a tree, maybe a fork, but if it is about weather, it would be wind. You can't see it actually, yeah? But you can understand that this is about wind. Uh, so, and we say, the wind blows. Wind, the wind blows. Okay, here I wanted to show you the difference between um, these uh, kinds of plants when we have high and small ones, yeah? So the high plants, which you can see, which forest consists of, they are called trees. And the small ones, they are called bushes. So a tree and a bush. Mm -hmm. Then, what kind of nature, what kind of weather is it? It snows, but probably it also rains, right? So rain and it rains. Not a good picture, sorry. Okay, anyway when the it is less than zero degrees or when it is zero degrees celsius our water turns into ice very nice <laughs> okay and the place to have rest at the seaside with sand or some stones is called a beach a beach Okay, so finished with nature. Let's go to revise some geographical names. So first of all, what is this map? This is uh, the map of what? This is a map of the Earth, of our planet. Or you may also say of the world. Yeah, doesn't matter so much. So try to find here Europe I hope it is not a problem for you Europe it is here and the adjective from Europe is European so you can see a European country European food European people and so on okay then eastwards from Europe we have Asia right so Asia and the uh, adjective is Asian, Asian. Southwards from Eurasia, we have Africa. Africa and the adjective is African. Then to the West, we have the Western world. We have America, North America and South America or Latin America. And the adjective is American, American, American. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you know where Japan is? Where is Japan? Can you see it here? There it is. And the adjective is Japanese. Okay. And nearby, near Japan, there is China, right? Do you see it? China and the adjective Chinese. Okay, 
Between them there is Korea, but I think it is difficult to see it here, right? So let's have a closer look. Here it is. And it is separated into two countries, North Korea and South Korea. And the adjective is Korean. Okay. Also, like we told that American is adjective for America, but also American is adjective for the country, the United States of America. Right? Or we may say the US or the USA as abbreviation. Okay. And do you know where the UK is? What is the UK? The UK is the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And the adjective is British. And don't confuse the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland with Ireland, because it is on the Northern Ireland. And in the south from it we have Ireland as a separate country. The adjective is Irish. Okay, do you know where Portugal is? It is in the western point of Europe, right? Portugal. Here. And which country it is surrounded with? Or by? It is surrounded with Spain. It is near Spain. And the adjective is Spanish. Okay, Portugal, Portuguese, Spain, Spanish. Then let's go northwards to Europe. Do you see Germany here? So Germany is here, Central Europe. And the adjective is German. German cars, German food, German people. Okay, let's go a little bit to Middle East, do you know where Iran is? Iran or Persia? Here it is. And the adjectives are Iranian or Persian. Okay, and near Iran there is Iraq. Yeah, mm, a little bit turbulent region. So here it is and the adjective is Iraqi then I would like to ask you about a country which I like a lot which is very popular today among tourists the United Arab Emirates or the UAE do you know where it is? it is near Iran in the right bottom uh, in the right bottom of the image of the map here here it is so the nationality here may be Emirati or it can be also Arab as um, about all the Arabs in all the North Africa and Arabian Peninsula for example in the nearby country the Saudi Arabia do you see it where Medina is yeah they their nationality is Saudis, but they are also Arabs. Okay. As well as in Egypt. Do you see Egypt here? Okay, here it is. The adjective for Egypt is Egyptian. You can use it as nationality. I'm Egyptian, but you can also say like Arab. Okay, let's go a little bit uh, to Asia. Do you know, do you have an idea where Vietnam is? I heard it is also very popular among tourists, although I've never been there. So Vietnam is... Oh, sorry, I always forget about France. Here it is, France. And the adjective is French. I don't know, I tried to record this video before and I re record it now. But I also made a mistake. I forgot about France for some reason. Okay, although I'm going there in September already. Okay, <laughs> sorry France. Let's go to Vietnam. Here it is. The adjective is Vietnamese. Maybe on this map you can also find Norway. Is it possible? What do you think? 
Oh no, it is too high, sorry. I should have changed the map. But okay, there it is, up above. Do you see on this map Switzerland? Switzerland. Here it is. Yeah, and Norway is on the left side of this peninsula. But okay, Sw Switzerland and the adjective is Swiss. Swiss quality, yes, yeah, Swiss watches. Swiss banks, most important. Okay, and let's go a little bit, just more. Do you know where India is? Do you see it? Here it is, the adjective is Indian, the Indian Peninsula. Okay, do you see here South Africa? Here it is, so the adjective would be South African. And uh, do you know the largest country in the world? The largest country in the world is Russia. And the adjective is Russian. Okay, this is all about countries. Uh, I hope we will... I will. It will not take long to cover the last topics. So, also I would like to tell you what's about professions. Not all of them, just a few. Yeah. So, what do you think this person wearing a suit and a tie is? Probably he is a businessman. And the plural for businessman is businessmen. As for man, men, a businessman, businessman. And the same as about uh, business women, a business woman, business women. Also, you may uh, encounter such words as a business lady or something like that. But a businessman is uh, most common. Okay. Who may this lady be? We already saw this uh, room, right? That was a kitchen with its shelves and gas cooker. So, okay, this woman looks more like a housewife, yeah? She, who doesn't work, who is um, doing all the stuff around the house. But maybe she's also a cook, yeah? A person who cooks. Uh, here I would to tell to show you that the plural of house a housewife is housewives that you change F for V in plural when the word finishes with F. So a cook, a housewife, housewives. Okay, let's go further. Who is this lady? We may see a camera here. So probably she is an actress, an actress. And if it is a man, he's an actor. An actress, an actor. Fine. Uh, do you know this person, Edgar Allan Poe, who was here? Well, if you see, if you see his uh, name on a book, as a book title, probably he was a writer, right? But Edgar Allan Poe was also a poet. And the feminine for poet is a poetess. Although some people say that there is not such word as poetess, there is only poet. Um, but okay. <laughs> a writer, a poet, and a poetess. Fine, okay. Who are they? Who are these people? What is their profession? Well, you may call them sportsmen. Yeah. Uh, it would be a sportsman or if there is a lady, a sportswoman. And also you may use uh, the word athlete. An athlete. So, a sportsman. In plural, sportsmen. A sportswoman, sportswomen, a sportsperson, sportspeople, or an athlete. An athlete. Okay. Who is he? I hope this one is not a great problem, right? This is a doctor. Just a doctor. 
Okay. And who are they? Maybe this is more problematic even to guess, yeah? It is not so clear here. But I thought about engineers. An engineer. So they are probably engineers. I hope. <laughs> okay, I hope they look like this. Okay, who is this lady? Uh, she is probably not a doctor, but she's helping a doctor with something here. Yeah? So she's a nurse, a nurse. And the boy uh, on the picture now uh, is her patient. So a nurse and a patient. Okay, who are they? The ginger girl at the blackboard is probably explaining something to the class, like I'm explaining uh, simple things to you. So she's a teacher and another girl listening to her is probably a student, right? A teacher and a student. Fine. How do we call a person driving a car, a taxi or a bus or anything? We call him a driver and respectively it can be a bus driver, a taxi driver and so on. Okay, a person working in a garden is called a gardener. gardener. He may do that as his profession or just because he has a garden and he likes that. Not only about professions. Okay, and a person working on a farm is called a farmer. A farmer. Very well, we are about to finish soon, so get patient and um, yeah, let's try. The last topic is about transport. Do you know how we call these um, things? They may be called mopeds, a moped, so to ride a moped, like a horse. Okay, this one is a train and we say to go by train without article to go by train okay this is a car or an automobile and the same as with train we say to go by car so a car an automobile to go by car or you, if you are a driver you may drive a car or drive an automobile okay next this uh, very dangerous mean of transportation this is a bike or a motorbike a motorbike okay this one is pretty easy I, I hope this is a bus yeah a bus okay do you know how we call these ones they are called scooters or you can also say a kick scooter or a push scooter mm -hmm. Because you use, uh, like kick means to beat with your leg. So you kick the ground and you push the scooter and this is how it goes. That's why a kick scooter or a push scooter. Okay, this one, underground, it is called, in Britain, it is called the underground or the tube. In America we may call it subway, in other countries like Dubai or in Australia or in France we call it metro. So, uh, and we usually say to go by the underground. So once again, the underground, the tube, the subway, the metro, to go by the underground. Okay, next, what is it? 
this is a plane and you also see to go by fly plane or to fly by plane okay to go doesn't mean only on the ground yeah it means to to relocate yourself from one place into another okay and this one so this is uh, the answer to the question why do we call a scooter a kick scooter or a push scooter because this one is also a scooter but this is a motor scooter yeah so there are two types of scooters <laughs> in the english language or maybe even more i'm not sure okay so a motor scooter and the final word for us for today to feel <laughs> not so bad if you forget anything uh this is a bike also a bike yeah like a motorbike they have they sometimes also called the same but the original name is like a bicycle or just a cycle and you may say to go by bike or to ride a bike or just to use the verb uh, cycle yeah the word cycle is a verb and the person who goes by bike who rides a bike or who cycles is called a cyclist and this kind of sport is called cycling cycling okay thank you a lot what may i say uh, today coming to the conclusion learn the basics yeah try to identify objects first of all around you it would help you also to stop thinking in your native language and to start thinking in english if you already know the names of the objects which surround you don't use just some tutorials videos from me or from youtube like use also dictionaries uh, translators and so on uh, ask questions to yourself how is it called and be curious also you to and to learn objects around you you may use stickers it is a really effective method just stick all your house yeah with them and uh, every time you will see this object you will see uh, how it is called and you will remember that better then pay attention to the people around you like members of the family colleagues because okay here you already start speaking about words related to you like if you have a nephew it is important uh, for you to know this word yeah because probably you will tell about her or if you have a husband uh, how would you tell about him not knowing how you call that phenomena okay also look at your city at your town which transport you have there what kind of nature you have do you have mountains or a river or a lake do you like to go anywhere and then <laughs> think also more globally about your country about relations with other countries like what countries are important for your country and so on but don't forget that first you learn the basics and then come to related words or words which are about you about your profession uh, about your hobbies interests and so on i hope that uh, next time i will try to make it uh, faster i will make such a video showing you the example of such related words or you may try finding them already yourselves yeah and uh, you may send it to me so that i could check and uh, could give you some clues some advice what to do further so learn the vocabulary first the daily words which we all use then the related words words which will help you tell about yourself even if uh, your the person you speak to doesn't know these words you will be able to explain them to him and after that we will come to uh, some basic grammar and some simple phrases and so on so thank you a lot for today um, i'm sorry for taking it probably so long but i hope it was useful for you uh, 
Yeah, learn the daily words. Thank you a lot. I will try to start doing videos again. Uh, and see you next time. Bye bye.